the diesel technology program. Uh, today we're going to be testing the starter circuit to make sure it's working properly. First thing you want to do is test your battery to make sure it has proper voltage. When you're doing this, you want to make sure it has 12.4 to 12.6 volts. So we're going to take our little voltmeter here and we're going to test positive to negative to make sure we have adequate voltage. So we're going to go negative to positive. And we're reading 12.5 volts, so we know our battery's good. The next thing we want to do is make sure our fuse is not blown and it's working properly. So we're going to test from the negative terminal to the positive from the next on this fuse to make sure we have proper voltage there as well. And again, we have 12.5 volts on that side, 12.5 volts on both sides. So we know our battery is good and we know our circuit breaker is working good as well. And so what's going to happen is when I turn this key, uh, the key is going to send a signal to the relay. The relay is going to tell the solenoid to engage the Bendix drive. The Bendix drive is going to come out, engage with your flywheel, and that's what turns your motor over. And this has been a simple test of the starting circuit system on a vehicle.